on Facebook. Well, good evening, everyone, and welcome to our Tuesday evening call. And we are doing things a little bit differently now. Our leadership came up with this great idea. And so we're going to start our call off with uh, wonderful, amazing, compliant testimonials from our leaders. And every Tuesday night, the first 15 minutes, we're gonna spend with you sharing amazing stories because we know not everyone can be on the Monday morning call. This makes it an even better call to bring your guests. And we have plenty of other ways for people to get the introduction to this special company, like the power of the patch and like the videos and in touch. So tonight we're gonna be sharing testimonials and we have a bunch of people. And those of you that will be sharing, if you could raise your hand, and then we will promote you so that we have a lineup. And then I will kind of call out who's going to go next and next and next. So as you listen to these stories, one of the values of stories is to inspire you to think about who you want to share this with, where that story can really relate to them. Gregory, are you wanting to share anything else before we jump in? Yeah, I just wanted to share. I'm very excited uh, about this new format. As much as I enjoy doing the first uh, seven-minute overview every week, uh, most of the people that attend this call have watched a video and know a little bit about LifeWave. Uh, a lot of us know a lot about LifeWave, and we're here to, to, to learn more. And we just thought, you know, information tells, stories sell, and we have such a great turnout. Uh, the best turnout uh, of anything that we do on Monday morning for our miracle call that we decided, well, why don't we do testimonials on Tuesday night also? Because not everybody can come on Monday morning. So uh, so we're kind of turning up the heat on testimonials from this point forward, and we're calling it the Tuesday night. Uh, and if everybody could just leave your video off, those of you that are going to be uh, giving a testimonial, leave your video off until Robin calls your name. That would be awesome. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. And if there's anyone else in the audience that um, from that has been requesting that uh, we asked to do a testimony or your upline leader did, just raise your hand and we'll get you promoted. And so we're, maybe we're, we should say, Robin, uh, one of the things we've done, we've invited a lot of our directors to give testimonials tonight to sign us, set the tone and give an example of a brief and compliant to, you know, testimonials, because testimonials should be brief and should be compliant. So uh, here we go. Yes. And, and we have a few almost directors. So <laughs> <laughs> we have several, most everyone's a director, but there's a few that are getting really, really close. So I'm going to start uh, at the top here and I'll tell you the order. And if you forget, that's okay. I'll let you know. So Don't we're going to start off... one at a time, Robin. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, let's start out with Rosemary, please un, uh, bring your video on and thank you for sharing your test and unmute your line and then share your testimonial, Rosemary. It won't let me do the video. You're so gorgeous. We want to see you. Darn. It, it says the host is asked you to start your video. Oh, there it is. Oh. Yay. <laughs> you cannot start your video because the host has disabled it. Well, we see well, you. You're good. I enabled oh, it. You're there. You. You're there. Yeah. Oh, my and gosh. And we're all I'm learning as we myself. go. This is a new process for us. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Well, are we ready? We're ready. Yeah. You're all first. Right. All right. Go so I will share the fact that something that I wasn't looking for, that total surprise, but you know, we all have those... Um, Sometimes they're on the surface of our skin, as in our legs, that cause us trouble, but the blood runs through them throughout our body. Well, I happen to stand, walk, everything for the majority of my life in my working career. And 26 years of that was under in, in an airplane. So it, my legs were always under pressure. So actually my legs just always hurt on the interior couldn't figure out what was the matter with them. Well, much to my surprise, uh, about five months after using the patches, I went to have a pedicure and all of a sudden she was going to massage my legs. And I usually say, don't touch them. But she went ahead and I said, Ooh, well, isn't this nice? I guess I can do it. Well, my legs just totally, you could sit on them now. All right. Before, I wouldn't even put lotion on them. 
beautiful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And so what Rosemary did is what we're modeling for everyone, what it was like before, what you did, use the patches, and now what you can do that you couldn't do before. So Sun Shower, you are next. And that was uh, 50 seconds and we love it under a minute. That's fabulous. Good evening, everybody. Sun Shower Rose, Sedona, Arizona here. I was introduced to LifeWave through my homeopath. So I've always entrusted my health to her. So when she introduced me to the X39 patch, I said, okay. And guess what? I've had lots of in-between stories that I could go on and on about. But the most surprising one happened two years into it. I was not able to smell my whole life. People go, oh, could you taste? And yes, I could taste, but I sure couldn't smell. Suddenly, last July, when I was weeding, two different weeds in my hands, and I go, huh, this weed smells different than this weed. What? Love it. Love it. That's so fabulous. Thank you. Thank you. Another one under a minute. You go. You rock. Well, I think we should invite your sponsor on that introduced you. So, Jana. The homeopath, would you go next? And you want to mute your video, Janet? Thank you. Hi, can you see me? We can, thank you. Hey, I don't see myself, but I'm glad. Okay, so this was right at the beginning of that lockdown that we had. And I woke up one morning and I had a brown spot on my shoulder. Well, I didn't think anything of it because I have another one on the other shoulder. But every day for five days, it would grow higher and higher. It, it just elevated. I didn't know what to do. There, I couldn't talk to a dermatologist or anything. So I took an X39 and I just slapped it on top of this little brown spot that had gotten big. And every day it went down for five days until even the brown spot was gone. Woohoo! That's amazing. <laughs> Exciting. <laughs> oh, wonderful. I love it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you for introducing Sun Shower to our community. We're lover. Yes. Fabulous. Okay. <laughs> so now we'll go to Janet Hudson. You're next. And then we'll follow up with Janet Kiefer. Hi, Janet. Hi. Great to see you guys. I, I'm an advanced nurse practitioner and also a veteran. And I came home with Desert Storm with lots of issues. The ones I'm going to tell you about tonight deal with nerves. So I had some pain in my back and the nerve down my leg would hurt really bad where I couldn't sit still. And I also had this pins and needles kind of nerve pain in my hands and my legs and feet. And in three months, the pain in my back went away. And in about six months, the other pain went away from nerves from wearing X39. So I am been extremely happy with the results I've received from these patches. Fabulous. Under 30 seconds, yay. And the reason I'm sharing this with people is that a, a good testimonial is brief, you know, really. So thank you, Janet, so much. So let's move You're next welcome. door to Janet Kiefer. Hi, everyone. Lovely to see you, Robin and Gregory. Thank you for the invitation. When I was introduced, which was like, I can't even say it was an introduction. I didn't know what the patches did. I read the clinical studies, they looked intriguing. And the probably two days after receiving the box, I came down with those massive headaches that you guys know the name that you shut down, you can't see, you can't talk, you run for the ibuprofen. But someone had said on Facebook, these help. And I thought, well, here's my chance. But I didn't know what to do. I didn't have anybody to talk to. So I just stuck it on my head and said, well, <laughs> let's put this thing to work. And literally in less than five minutes, my pain was gone. My vision was cleared. I could talk again. And it was at that point I said, okay, you have my attention. What are you? And a month later, it had cleared up three years of knee pain, the searing knee pain. And I was just shocked. So thank you so much, LifeWave. My whole life has changed. All right. Well, thank you. And another brief, potent Compliant testimonial, so no testimonial, so no. Oh, I'm hearing myself twice. Okay, um, Karen, you're next. Karen O'Neill, can you bring your video on and unmute? I'm just having trouble getting on there. Slap. Yeah, it should be able to start now. Karen. I'm trying. I'm unmuted. Can you, you hear me? 
Yeah, I got it now. Sorry about that. Hey, I've been using these patches for over four years and a little over a year ago, maybe a year and a half ago, I got some great news. For decades, since I was in my 20s, and that was a lot of decades ago, I have had an autoimmune issue that um, had a lot to do with my thyroid and often they they lead to other issues last year and a half my everything is gone there is no sign of autoimmune anywhere in my blood work or in my body and it's kind of fun instead older wow and do you want to briefly talk about welt just briefly because we got a lot of other people that the reason i heard about it was because um my husband wasn't expected to live even another day, maybe, maybe a week. Um, he was, had two organs shutting down. He, he was 84. And, um, I told Robin that, and Robin said, I have to tell you about this. And we started using them on him and over three months, he was just like this sitting down, slumped down over a three month period. Um, his personality came back. The light in his eye came back. His sense of humor came back. And he had two more really beautiful years with us, fully functional, a fully um, good, good life. And so I believe that these patches gave me my husband back for two years. Actually, I know they did. (laughs) That's beautiful, honey. Thank you so much. That was wonderful. You know, when we can help a loved one, what's the price and value of that? So Darlene, you are next. Darlene. Unmute and show us your beautiful face. Okay. Well, maybe we'll wait to get Darlene after. Okay. There. I can hear you. I can't see you. Okay. Um, ah, The thing is not wanting to cooperate. Try now. There. Okay. Well, there. Hi. Hi. So I'm Darlene, and my story is about my husband. About 14 years ago, he was diagnosed with an eye condition where fluid builds up in the back of your eye, and they give you shocks right in your eyeball to clear that liquid up. So for 11 years, he got shots in his eye about every eight weeks, and we started wearing X39 in August of 2019. And that November, when he went in for an eye appointment, the doctor said, oh my gosh, you don't need a shot. And to make a long story short, it's been a little over three and a half years since he's had to have a shot in his eye. His vision is great. We love it. It's not even fun to watch somebody get a shot in their eye. Whoa. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That was, it's amazing because a lot of people deal with that condition. So again, remember I'm sharing these stories are to help you share with people that you know and love. Thank you, Darlene. That was wonderful. Olya, would you like to go next? And you should be able to start your video. There you are. Yes. Hello. Um, Hello there. Yeah. So hello. So I have uh, so many testimonials, so I don't even know, but I'll try to do like one sentence (laughs) each. One applies to me. I'm pretty much, I'm a wellness practitioner, so I'm in pretty good health. However, I had a Lyme disease about um, 20 years ago, twice. And even though it was treated, I always had Lyme coming up in my blood work, always. And no matter what I did. And after being on the patches maybe for four or five months, first time there was nothing. I did a very thorough Lyme test, nothing came up at all. I was clean, like I never had Lyme in my life. And I thought, well, maybe it's some kind of outlier. I just redid my blood work, which is in May, which was four months, five months later, the same thing, no trace of a Lyme disease. So that's, you know, about me and quickly, um, I, my mom just had a stroke um, a week ago. She's almost 86 and she delayed to go to the hospital for like almost like seven hours, which is not very good. And still going there with an ambulance, uh, uh, driving her to the hospital because she refused to go patch her up. And she was using the patches for about nine months. She got to the hospital and they saying, well, we, we know she 
had a stroke, but we don't even know the nature of the stroke and we don't even see like any damage, a little bit of your left arm kind of limp. So my mom spent one week in the hospital, me there, patching her up every single day. And the doctor is saying like, even considering her age, she should not be recovering so well. Your arm is coming back to normal. She's talking, she's fully alert, like nothing happened to her. She's walking and everybody is just surprised considering her age, what she went through. Apparently she has seven or eight mini strokes in her brain. And yeah. it's just amazing that I was, she's recovering. It just brings me to tears, just see that. And I know if it's not for the badges, I don't think that mm -hmm. would have hey. happened. Well, thank you so much, Olya. Again, you know, a loved one getting affected and a little um, training right now in the future, not to name a, any kind of diagnosis because we okay. want to stay away from naming anything and just stay with symptoms. Okay. okay. So um, just for the future. Okay. So we're going to go <laughs> really quickly because we got a few more to go. Uh, Susan, Anne, and then we're going to end up with Jim. Okay. Susan, you want to turn on your video and unmute your line, please. There she is. Hi. Oops, we need you to be unmuted. It doesn't want to unmute. There you are. Good. Finally. Hi, um, I'm Susan. I live in Northwest Arkansas, in Bentonville. And uh, it's been a year as of last week that I've been on the patches. Um, I am a wellness and health coach and facilitator and um, have been for years. Uh, unfortunately, for the last nine, when I moved to a new state, I took on a job that was working in a department store, which pretty much uh, crippled me. And so thanks to Ravel, she turned me on to the patches. She friended me on Facebook. And uh, at that time, I could not hold a cup this big because my thumb joints were so bad and my shoulders, I couldn't lift my arms up. And so a year later, look uh, at you. My, my <laughs> knees don't hurt, I can grip again, and my shoulders are great. And I am one of those that are almost a director. All right, we're cheering you on by Sunday. Yes, Yahoo! Well, beautifully done because the limitation, she couldn't Robin, even have a couple. Up. Oh, sorry. I know, we're not done yet. Anne is next. Yes. And then Ravel. And then Ravel. Well, okay. we have Jim and then Ravel. We're going to finish up with Ravel. This is great, you guys. Hi, I'm Ann. I'm gonna and I'll be as quick as I can. I have a ton of stories, but I'm gonna choose a story that I haven't told in, in a while. And that is my neighbor here. When we first moved in this area, we're from Maine. Um, she had a, a pretty significant neck injury. And she said that they had been building and something fell on her neck. She actually showed me the x-rays and she said everything and their health, one of them's a Cairo, the other one's an, an energy worker. They had done everything, acupuncture, you name it, they had done it to help with her neck pain and nothing was helping her. And I said to her, have you ever heard about stem cells? And their eyes bulged out, the two of them and went, stem cells? Wow, yeah. Wow, what do you know about stem cells? And I told them about this this patch that would activate their own stem cells. And they were like, well, we're in, we wanna try it. And so I put the X39 on her neck that day. And the next morning it was gone, the pain was gone. She was so beyond excited. And to this day, she comes over and reminds me of that amazing mir miraculous patch. And All that's right. Friends, neighbors, family, it's for everyone. That's beautiful. And they had access to all kinds of resources. Okay, Jim, you're next. There he is. Hi, I am Jim Maver from Maine. I was in a real bad automobile accident, left me seven months in bed and two and a half years in physical therapy to use my body again. And I'm an outdoors person. I cut wood and all that. So the day that we started doing wood, uh, I had been wearing the X39 for a week, and usually uh, I would have to be in bed for two or three days while doing that. And uh, wearing the X39, I had no issues for three weeks. And to this day, it's been two and a half years. 
with no issues in my bag. The X39 wow. has been a life changer. I am a whole person once again. Thank you, David Beautiful. Smith. Whoa, thank you, Jim. And now that whole pile of wood means a lot more to me now that I know the whole story. Not the whole story, but thank you. That's so wonderful. Okay, we're going to finish up with Ravel, and then we'll bring our guest doctor on. There she is. Thanks for your leadership, Robin and Gregory. Um, every summer since 2016, I've had to wear special mesh um, pants and jacket, even covering my head. I look like a space uh, astronaut. Uh, the only reason I turned to LifeWave was to help my dog because she stopped, started to stop walking every five minutes. Putting that patch on, she went 45 minutes and wanted to keep going. And uh, I had her for an, an elderly dog for another two years, very grateful. Um, but what happened was in the first summer since using X39, I um, I got a bad rash. It lasted six days. A month later, it came back for only a day. But what's mar marvelous is that it has never come back since the summer of 2020. So now I can um, live freely again, childlike, um, really enjoy my summers. And um, I'm just so grateful to LifeWave and X39. Thank you. That was beautiful. I'm so glad you can too. Because you couldn't have had fun in Aruba if not, huh? <laughs> okay, well, thank you, everyone. And that is modeling our new Testimonial Tuesdays. And now, in addition to testimonials, we have our guest practitioner. And this evening, we have Dr. Jeffrey Hubbard out of Dallas, Texas. And anyone who knows Dr. Jeff loves him. He's a gem. He's got this huge heart, but he's he's an educator. He's He ha, is the founder and CEO of Comedicare, which is an innovative health, care, health and wellness company. And he has his grand opening for his new clinic coming up very soon, like this weekend, I think. And he, uh, he does private consults. He's a gift to our entire community. And I want to bring on Dr. Jeff. Hi there. Well, good evening. Are you oh, all ready for the big event? Getting there, getting there. Getting there. A, lot, a lot of moving parts, but yes, we're just going to rock and roll. It's going to be awesome. That's fabulous. Well, since our format is really different tonight, I know we have questions, but maybe we should cover a few basic things, especially, you know, uh, as a doctor, what is so exciting to you about this technology as an MD? Well, the the most exciting part for me was the all of the studies and all of the research that was done. You know, typically when you have a, a direct sales or network marketing company, they've got products and they've got things that are really awesome. They help people, tons of testimonials, but usually no scientific meat. So there was just so much to sink my teeth into when I first got introduced to the company three years ago that I was like, wow, and it keeps coming. It's like, you know, you, you've got David's webinars that are truly amazing. You've got the articles, you've got new patches, new products. So that's what I really love about LifeWave. And I would encourage anybody who's trying to get a new brand partner that might be a practitioner, a chiropractor, a, a, a MD, a DO, a dentist, whomever, walk into that office with a couple of those articles and let them read those or encourage them to read those. That's a great starting place. Well, that's a hot tip. Thank you, thank you, thank you for that because we do have thousands of practitioners in LifeWave and they're they're drawn to it just like what Dr. Jeff said is we have clinical studies, which is not typical of natural products. And so let's just briefly talk about, you know, a little bit about who the patches are for and what you love about them and um, any guidance on how to get the maximum benefit. And then we'll open up for some questions. Cool. So, I mean, the, the, the really the cool part about this tool being in my tool bag is that it really covers so many different individuals. Um, you know, a lot of the questions I get is, well, you know, doc, is it going to affect my medicines? Is it going to affect this? Is it going to affect that? And because it's a natural product, because it uses your own body heat in the form of a light, um, it, it does not interact with any of those particular things that may be happening with more uh, traditional approaches to healthcare. And, you know, with the slight caveat that when your body starts getting better, 
you may need to adjust your medicine. So I do encourage people to be very close with their practitioner who's prescribing these medicines so that you can watch your labs, you can watch for things, but really you're the one who really makes the determination because it's gonna be how you feel. So I just encourage people, like for example, if you've got blood pressure issues or if you've got blood sugar issues or anything like that, make a note, you know, begin to journal, begin to document what's happening so that next time you go into your doc, you say, hey doc, I'm trending in a really good way. Perhaps we need to adjust the medicine or whatever, because I've been using these amazing patches and they're starting to heal my body in ways that maybe I hadn't considered before. So that gives you a good framework to have that discussion. I know that if you came into my office or engaged with me and you had that type of insight, and that type of you know conversation for me, I would be really impressed. And I think a lot of other docs will be too. Sometimes we get so caught up in what we wanna see for you that we talk over your head. So now you have ability to, to build a deeper relationship with your doc and explain also maybe even get a brand partner at the same time. <laughs> Another treasure from Dr. Jack this evening. And, um, you know, it's really important when you're engaging this, if you have something significant going on to let your practitioner know what you're doing. What do you recommend, Dr. Jeff, for getting baselines as a doctor? What do you recommend for people? Well, that's a great question. I think a lot of what we see is, you know, basic improvements. So, you know, I, I learned this trick from you, you know, you encourage people to write a list of things that you'd like to see change, like to see improve. And then you just slowly document how those things improve. But I mean, a baseline labs, you know, baseline sort of approaches to uh, like your, your triage stuff, you know, your blood pressure, heart rate and things like that. You know, because of our uh, the technology helps to remodel your cardiovascular system, we see a lot of improvement there as far as your heart rate and as far as your, uh, you know, your vessel health. So your blood pressure normalizes with a lot of people and your circulation improves. So, I mean, a, a lot of the things that we see are sleep improvement and energy level and, you know, just physical capabilities improve, pain goes down. So, you know, those are subjective things, not necessarily objective. Beautiful. So getting a baseline before you start, whether you use the health tractor and or in addition, a blood panel is a really good thing to have because over the years, you know, getting that annual blood panel is a great way to track things, but there is the health tracker and we recommend everyone use it. So are you ready for a few questions, Doc? Well, I think in the spirit of this new Testimonial Tuesday, maybe I should give a testimonial. Well, we would love to hear that. Yes, please. So, I am a huge baseball fan. I've been playing baseball since I could pick up a bat. Unfortunately, as I got into my later 20s and early 30s, I started to develop rotator cuff problems. And it was a pain in the butt to wash my back and get things off shelves. And, you know, certain exercises were really difficult. I felt the, the weakness happening with certain range of motion with my shoulder. And so I'd say maybe five, six months in to wearing the X39 on a consistent basis, I was not expecting this to happen, but my shoulder is completely back. I mean, from left to right, I can almost do everything that my left shoulder can do with my right now. So I can wash my back. I can grab things off the shelf. Working out in the gym is no longer difficult with this side. Um, I can throw the softball around and do other things that maybe was a little bit challenging. And I didn't like admitting that it was getting difficult for me. So that's one of the big notice the big changes that i noticed over the course of consistently wearing that but now i'll say this guys three years in there's still things happening uh subtle nuances things like that i've got some scars that are going away and some other things that took some time so the biggest thing i will, can share with you is that it's about consistency and the cumulative effect of the patches and People always ask, well, what if it doesn't work for me? Oh, have you seen it not work for people? And I'm like, well, yeah, if they quit too early, then it doesn't work. So you guys, you need to be committed to at least one month for every decade you've been on planet Earth before yeah. you make any opinions about whether or not it works for you. So 
for all of my seniors, you need at least seven, eight months before you start to make a determination about how beneficial the patches are for you. More wisdom from Dr. Jeffrey tonight. Thank Love you. it. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. We got a few questions that we're going to share this evening because we've got the privilege of your wisdom with us. So Lydia would like to know, is the X3949 performance bundle the right thing to start with, or is there something else a person should try? Hmm. Well, I'll, again, I'll share my own personal experience. I just happened to get my hands on the X49 a little bit before it was released to the public. And I wore those two patches together. And what I can tell you is that my body transformed. I definitely can, can attest to being physically stronger and having more stamina and, and endurance in lifting weights, for sure. And I noticed that my muscle definition, I, I, I guess in conjunction with me lifting more weights, there was a little bit more muscle definition. But I also know that one of the things is also lipolysis or fat breakdown. So I think that was also something that I could definitely tangibly see. Beautiful. Anyone want some fat breakdown? X49 <laughs> is a good choice. Great. Thank you. Okay, Martha. Um, has someone uh, that has fluid in the lungs causing very low energy and severe coughing that's resulted in broken and cracked ribs. Oh my. She has mm -hmm. on X39 and Ice Wave and Eon. Is there anything else that you would recommend for that? Well, I've been very excited about learning more about the energy enhancer and symmetrically applying those patches to areas where you need extra energy, right? And we think energy like I've got to get up and go, I've got a burst of energy, but really it's more so about moving the flow of chi or energizing those organs. So for lung problems, I would put them on the lung one points that is very popular for energy enhancer. That should help the lungs to clear some of that mucus and uh, phlegm buildup. Beautiful. So, uh, and you can always find these points if you just search online. Mm -hmm. Just put, there are lung one points and they're right under the clavicle. And they're very powerful points. Wonderful, wonderful. Okay, um, Abby, I know some... I know someone who fell over a year ago and hurt her hip. She's now going through therapy. Should she wear X39 on her hip, on her back, or on her neck? I would actually, you know, I don't know if there's a fracture involved or if it was just soft tissue injury, but in, in traumatic situations, I tend to want to be a little aggressive. So I would say two X39, one in the normal hallmark locations, either under the navel or on the back of the neck, and then one on the point where you've had the actual traumatic injury. So on, in this case, one on the hip and then one either under the navel or on the back of the neck. Okay. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. So um, I just heard from one of our speakers. It says, it looks like if you're part of the testimonial group, you can't ask a question. So um, let's see, Janet, would you like to ask a question? <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if there's any other questions while we're doing that. Um, honey, would you kind of uh, bring everyone back to uh, a regular participant and then they can ask questions because we have just a few more minutes and until we get there. So from your perspective, Dr. For Jeff. For tonight, for what? tonight, why don't they just raise their hand and you could just call on them. Okay. So if you, if, you're a, if you were a panelist and you shared a testimonial tonight and you have a question, please raise your hand. That's the, he's always thinking of the easier way to go. Thank you. Okay, Janet, <laughs> Janet, why don't you unmute? Yes. Okay, I think I'm unmuted. Can you hear me? Yes, yes we can. Okay, awesome. Um, I'm trying to find some good studies or literature on using our patch technology with the issue where people will suddenly have severe shaking of their body, or maybe they'll stare into space and not be aware of a time has gone by, that kind of symptoms with, with your brain. Um, and I'm not really finding anything good to pass on to people. Does anyone have any information there? Well, so I've heard some stories. That's about the best I can do. Um, I don't know if there's any particular research studies that have been published specifically on that issue and the patches. 
but I can just share with you some testimonials that I've heard over the years and that that would be X39 is really helpful. You can wear it on the third eye or you can wear them on the temples. Also, the hat protocol is very powerful. You know, that's the two sets of energy enhancers plus glutathione and eon. And then you apply those in the hat so that you have them on the temples and one in the front and the back. And then you have glutathione and eon in the crown. And that's been really helpful as well, just to kind of prevent those things from happening or minimize those when they do happen. Awesome. Thank you. All right. Well, I think we are complete. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. And this is our first time. So we're going to learn from what we did tonight and we'll tweak it and we'll get better and better and better. So if you're someone who wants to share your story uh, in the future, uh, honey, should we have people text us or just raise their hand? What do you, what do you think is best? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> they both sound good. They both sound good. Okay. Uh, we'll have to talk about that. I'm not well, sure. We'll talk about it. We'll figure this out. But um, I hope you guys are enjoying this new format and we'll get better. And thanks, Dr. Jeff, for being the guinea pig on the first one. We'll give you a more a little bit more airtime next time. Um, <laughs> we're just learning as we go, which, you know, constant, never ending improvement. And I want to personally thank all of you for being here this evening. And I want to thank all of our storytellers. You guys were fabulous. And I hope everyone really really is clear about compliance and sharing symptoms. All you have to share is what your limitations were like before, which, what you used, and now what you can do. And one of my favorite stories from my past, if you have something that, you know, touches people's heart, like I heard a story years ago with this woman, and she said, I wasn't able to get down on the floor and play with my grandchildren. I used X, Y, Z, and now I can get on the floor, I can play with them, and I can get up too, you know? And how long did that take? And it's like, as we get older, there, there's, I mean, I understand the limitations about getting up and down from the floor. So I can really relate to that one. But we're so grateful to have all of you this evening. Thank you, everyone, for your stories. Thank you, Dr. Jeff, for being with us. And thank you, Gregory, for holding this, the, the, the technology place always and making everything work so smoothly. So we are now complete for the evening. Thank you, everybody. Bye-bye. Night. Night. Night.